Alright, now I'm going to talk a bit about the RAM node, which includes all the details you need for your essay. Now when you click the link, this is what you'll get, right? So when you go below here, you can see um, there's a there will be a link here that says copy this document. So you press the thing, it will ask you to log in and it will successfully be connected to your account. So it will look something like this, right? So your account will be like this. You can look for it. It's called uh, Challenges and Solutions. Then you can open it up and this is what you will get. Now all these points here can actually be closed up, right? So that you can try and recall the information and then you open up to check again. Okay, you can also press each of these main points here, which will open up it, which will open it up as a as a page by itself. Okay, so you can explore further. Now it's a big flow chart, uh, starting with the main questions that will prompt you on how you can get the information in your brain, and then it will link also to the explanation. Right, normally the explanation is the why question. So in this case, you have things like this, huh? Weak defense force, confrontancy, the main problem. So once you finish the details you read, then it will ask you, so why is this a great security concern? This is important for your explanation, right? The words like deterrence, okay, sovereignty, independence, loss of jobs, loss of investment, economic uncertainty. This is how you explain the point. Alright, then it goes on to solutions. So everything is combined into one big uh, flow chart. Uh. So why is the solution? National service, defense force, military cooperation. Then under the de after the details, it will prompt you. So how exactly did this strengthen Singapore's defense? All right, all these points about the why and the how is meant for your explanation, okay? Which is also crucial in your essay. So you have your citizenship, uh, your security challenges. Then below you have your social security, uh, social challenges, sense of belonging, sense of attachment, and housing. Okay, how does housing help to solve all the citizenship challenges? Proper housing, people have better living conditions, lead to increasing likelihood of them being rooted in the country. If let's say you can't remember everything, at least some keywords you can remember is fine. Okay. The good thing about this app is there's a three dot button here. You can press it and then it will lead you to practice RAM. You can press practice with space repetition or practice with all cards. Let's say I press all cards, it will open up this box here for me. I will look, okay, how does this question link up? What is the link to this question? It's about security, it's about diplomacy, it's about challenges. And then it will ask you things like this. How did diplomacy actually help strengthen defense? So three here means there's actually three things. Alright, so you can think in your brain first. Like example, okay, diplomacy help build alliances. Okay, help ensure deterrence from other, from other external threats and help make sure that we are recognized as a country. For example, then I will press show answer to check whether I'm correct or not. Yes, so I got the first one correct. You don't need to be exact in the phrasing, but as long as you get a general idea, it's okay. Then after that, they'll give you all these prompts here. Okay, press whichever which one that you successfully got. And then in the subsequent practice that you do, right, this question will come out lesser than other questions. Okay, so immediately. Yeah, then continue. Okay, officially recognized. Yes, okay, then what's the last point? Last point is understanding cooperation among other countries in the region, including things like ASEAN, which can help solve the issues amicably. Okay, record effort, well done. And then they'll move on to the next question, like this one lack of proper living conditions. What is the concern? Two main points. So you have Kampong, is one of the main points, right? Yes, Kampong. What's the other main point? It should be the squatter settlements. Yes, it is the squatter settlements. So this is how you study for this thing. And of course, you must. Uh, not just study the flashcards, but also study the whole big flow chart of how things are connected to one another. So this will help you in your in your writing of the essay.